What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pixar Toy Box Zerg Layer Playset. Now this is one of the hugest boxes that I've ever got in the Toy Box line. And we have a, a cool glam shot of Zerg with his evil laugh. We have uh, his layer with his robot and his bla and the blaster to shoot the robot. We have the Pixar Toy Box logo. We have the Disney Store with that beautiful little castle logo. And we also have uh, the sticker for ages 3 and up. And this says, use your bow disc to fight your opponent. We get a nice cool window of Zerg and his robot. It's cool to see that because the layer is inside so you don't get to see it. And we also have uh, some cool features about this. We have uh, the uh, use Zerg Blaster to shoot. It has a warning about the but the coin cell battery inside, which is included in this set. It's warning choking hazard. On the Zerg layer playset, it says two levels of play with that Zerg sign. The sides on this box usually say the uh, Pixar Toy Box logo on the sides instead of the cool little artwork that they used to have. Here's on top. And also on the uh, side again, it's kind of annoying to see this. But and on the bottom, we have some wordings about the batteries included and the legal wordings. On the back of the packaging, you get some nice cold glam shots of the Zerg, his blaster, the blaster and a Zerg bot and his lair. And we have the UPC. This retails for $45 in the US and $63 bucks in the uh, Canada stores. And here's some cool features. You can blast the robot by his uh, a blaster. We also have something cool. Activate the trap door to drop your figure and light up the Zerg power source. We also have use the red levers to move the battle disc. And we flip the purple lever to activate the battery room. So this is taken from Toy Story 2 where uh, Buzz Lightyear tries to stop Zerg from his robots. And that part is where it represents the uh, where Buzz tries to get killed by Zerg. And on this side, it's also available Buzz Lightyear, which I uh, also already have. So let's take a closer look. And I've cut the tape on the sides, and let's take, give you a preview of what's inside the box. So we have a ton of these cool little stuff. Let's fold it up. We first get an instruction manual about what's included in this set. We have uh, one piece of his layer, another piece with the battle disc. We have the base, Zerg, his robot, his ion blaster, a missile, a display pieces of the blaster, and how to play with it, and how to assemble. And on the back is just the wordings about the batteries with the uh, on and off. We also have a lot of pieces. We have some uh, cardboard and stuff. So we have a ton of stuff to look at. Here's the base. Here is the uh, one piece of another piece of his layer. We have um, the base of his layer. And uh, this piece, I need to snip it out so that I can show you Zerg first. And also we have these cool little accessories. We have a blaster inside. And we also have uh, the missile for the blaster. And uh, let's go ahead and take everything out at once. All right, so here's everything out of the packaging. So we have that uh, nice Toy Story backdrop. We've got the uh, instruction manual, how to snap them in. And it's gonna be cool with inside this Buzz Lightyear. It's gonna be totally, totally awesome. Let's take a look at Zerg first. All right, taking a look at Zerg. He has eight points of articulation in total. One point of articulation in his head, in his neck. Three points of articulation in each arm and one mid part at the waist. So he have a waist swivel that rotates all the way around. And on the back of his waist, it says Disney Pixar made in China, which is the wording. And his eyes are really red and his mouth is like yellow. So the head is on resting on a ball joint so he could pull it out. So this is what it looks like without a head. And here's the hole. So uh, it can it's permanently glued on his cape, and you can't remove it, unfortunately, which is not happening at this toy. So let's pop the pet back on, and they can rotate 360 degrees. Has a little tilt, and goes up and down as far as this, and down as this. For the arms, they're the same mold as Buzz Lightyear, so except the fact that it's a little different paint. So for the arms, they do rotate 360 degrees, and it can lift up to a T pose. 
have a single joint elbow that bends about 90 degrees. We also have a swivel. For the hands, they do rotate and uh, they're on a ball joint, so you can pivot up and down. And there's a hinge over there, so you can hinge it up as far as I can. And hinge it down as far as I can. And that's pretty much it. For the cape, it's just a black and red plastic. The bottom of the feet has a uh, two peg holes, so there's no legs, no knees, and no ankles. So this is because it's just how Zerg looks. For his accessories, you have a blaster, iron yarn blaster. So there's a ball, so you can make it shoot. So if you want to put it in, guys, so there's a hole over this side. And you have to put the hole inside the ball over there. And when you hear a click, it puts it in. Then there you go. So stick it onto his hand just like so. Just, um, it's pretty cool. So here you have Zerg with his blaster. That's nice. And we have uh, some paint over this side. We have the Z logo, same for your side. And this part is kind of bendy. And there's a button over there so you can uh, shoot it. So I could just try to put my hand over there so I can make it stop. Or maybe I could just do this. So this is really cool. So it's a spring-loaded blaster. So be careful not to lose this piece. Okay? Can't have a Zerg without his blaster, guys. All right. Taking a look at his layer, there's some three pieces that you need to snap in together. So we have the top part the bottom part and the mid part. So I'll be back when I finish assembly, okay? Okay, now that I fully assembled one piece in there, so when you hear the snap piece, it fully clicks in. So if you do it wrong way, it doesn't literally click very well. So that's pretty much it. And I'll be back when I finish assembling the last part. All right, so here's everything put together for the Zerg playset. And there's some cool little accessories. So you have a nice little robot. So it has some articulation so the shoulder pads can lift. And it, and it can pop in half. So um, when you defeat the robot, it represents like being killed like in the movie. So, And there's a screw hole at the bottom. So we also have a blaster. There's three pieces over there. So... You have this piece and then you have a stand over there. Just look for these holes and just push it in. And that's cool. So, and also something cool. The head can rotate all around. Like it pivots a little bit and can tilt and go up and down for like aiming target practice. So there's a missile. So there's a button to shoot the missile. It's pretty cool and does something a little different. This blaster, based on Toy Story 4 Star Adventurer, is does not have the button, but this one has. So it's like the upgraded version. So there's something cool. So let's uh, get this up. There's something when you want finished using the stand. There's something cool over there. So there's this hole for the blaster. Then just plug it in like there. So and then there you go. So let's just put this robot up there. So. I'll show you how you should be done. So let's aim for Z over there. Just push this button over there. Then just aim it over there. Then just kill it. And then it wins. So let's take a look at the other features. Let's show you the other cool features. So there's a trap door. So uh, it's rock. So you can move it up and down. Like for your villain to fall in this for level layer and there's something ever cool so there's this battering rom where uh buzz lightyear almost gets killed so uh when you push it in it just springs out and then there you go on the bottom there's some on and off buttons so when you put it off it just doesn't work for the button it doesn't like make any lights so when you turn it on it does do and it does do something cool so you have some uh, battle discs that can rotate. So um, there's something cool. So it can light up. So let's put your Zerg on. Let's zoom up the camera up a little bit. Let's just move that a little back. And then just like push it in. And then, oh, then it lights up. And then if you want to lift it up, just push it in. And then there you go. Now, I'll show you how it could be done. 
how you play this is that you can put your villain on top and your hero on the bottom and then someone the villain tries to kill the buzz and then just like you kill it and then you shoot the blaster and then <laughs> no i'll put my trick last up on one sleeve then just pushes in and then huh ah! <laughs> this battery is all mine well guys what do you think about this jizzy toy box circle air playset hi i'm picking this up let me know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed this set, please give it a like. Please subscribe. We're almost to 50. Yay. Thanks for dropping by and watching this video. Bye-bye.